Well, the sun's shining. We've waited long enough. It's time to plant out the shallots. sure if you can see but the root ball on there is really trying to go out all I'm doing is just teasing the roots off put some mycorrhizal in the hole on the plant and sink it in these are going about 15 centimeters six inches apart and once they're all in I'll give them a good watering All of them planted now, got four rows of 48. Just give them a water, and that just brings me up for my lunch. Along with quite a few other gardeners in the UK, I would guess, the weather's been so unpredictable this year, and the result of that, some of the plants have had to be held back. Consequences, as some of them started to get leggy, they've got some tomatoes over there. Crimson Crush. Now I reckon I'll be able to plant them a little bit deeper than normal. That shouldn't be an issue, but just as a bit of insurance, I just popped a few more seeds in. They've come up nicely and I'm just going to pot them on. There they are potted on. I've got 16 altogether. They did go a bit wilty, but I think they pick it up. I'm just potting on now my uh, sunflowers. Quite surprised the germination has been good on these. These are the save seed from last year. I just put them in some kitchen roll and uh, out of 12, I've got 11 germinated, so not bad. And these will be going forward as usual to the Sunflower Challenge 2021. Yet again, kindly asked from Nick's allotment diary. Now, if the weather forecasts anything to go by, the next few nights we're going to see the end of these overnight frosts and low temperatures. And come the start of next month, we've got a really high warm spell coming in from Spain, touching 30 degrees. So now I think it's about time to sow the first couple of tanks of carrots. If you're a regular viewer to the channel, you know that these are a standard loft water tanks that they use in the roof space in the UK. Um, these have got fairly well sifted soil in there. Now normally about every third year, I empty these completely, put a good 250 millimeters, 10 inches of well rotted cow manure in the bottom and then sift the soil back into it. I think I did these last year actually. And all I want that for is so that there's some nutrients in the bottom for the carrots to go down. I've uh, watered these about three days ago. There's still a bit of moisture in, so straight away I can go and start marking out the stations. Right, I've got two different size grids. This is the larger one, and these will be for the carrots, which stay in the longest, and hopefully give me the bigger size. Smaller grids, spaced closer together and we take those as a slightly younger carrots but still decent size so with the soil being moist it does help retain the shape of the hole ready for when we put the sifted soil in if i haven't already i plan in the future to do a growing made easy series on how i do the carrots just check, there should be a flyer in the top left corner if I've already done it. If not, it won't be long appearing. Okay, I've bored the two tanks out now. In this first one, I've got 48. And in the one there, I managed to get 51. We're going to sieve some soil now, ready to start sowing the sweet candle. The compost has been sieved, but to be fair, there wasn't a lot of stones or rubbish come out of it. This is the Bath Guides Champions blend. And the only thing I've added to it is about 
25% by volume of fine vermiculite. This will go straight into the holes that I've just bored. The seeds will be sown direct. I've given both the tanks a misting over now. And what I'll do, I'll put a sheet of polycarb over the top just to keep a bit of warmth and moisture in. So with two tanks of carrots sown, I've done a bit of potting on, and I'll take you around in a minute and show you what I've been doing. I'm just about now to start pricking out these celery. The right is called lay them self blanching, and I'll be putting them in these 12 cell half trays. Some people will prick the celery out a lot earlier. Well, I like to let mine get to around about this stage. And then when I do prick them out, I do them like a brassica, sink them a little bit deeper than the bottom of the first leaf. And they seem to go away okay like that. I've pricked 18 out at the moment, and uh, I think that'll do me. I've just popped them inside the Vita pod. There's probably no heat on tonight. I think it's down to about 12 degrees in here anyway. I'll just put them in there just to settle the roots down, get over the shock of potting on. Well, good morning all. Join me on the allotment for another early start. Hopefully we're in for another glorious day, just like we did yesterday. Now we're about to start planting the potatoes. Like all good plans, something happens when they go out the window and this is no exception. Normally I'd do a split between first, seconds and main crop, but this year I decided to bypass the first and double up on the seconds, which are these, the Charlottes. Now the original plan was to do a staggered sowing of two 12 buckets and space them over about six weeks apart. Well, I missed the first sowing for whatever reason, so now the time's come, I'm going to end up sowing all 24 buckets in one go. So, not to worry, you're not going to have three hours of me putting these potatoes in. It's the usual method of two layers of two potatoes in each and uh, compost on the top, stack them up out on the beds. If you want to see how I do it in more detail, we have done a, another video this time in the Grow Made Easy series and there'll be a little card flying out up there and you can go and have a look, take a look, see how I do it. What I will do, Every now and again, I'll bring the camera over and just show you the mix that I'm using to actually plant the tubers into. I've still got some compost left from last year's potatoes. I'll be adding some of my own compost, probably a bit of 6x manure and also some potato fertilizer. But I'll bring you that later on. Anyway, time to crack on. Alright folks, I'll just quickly show you before the sun blinds us. There's a mixture in there of uh, the stuff at the back is me old potato compost taken out of the old buckets from last year. At the front I've got some of my own compost. The grey stuff there is some 6x manure that's gone a bit hard, it's got a bit of damping but that'll be alright. And the granular stuff there is the customary potato fertiliser. So I'm just going to get the shovel now and give that a good mix up and that's what I'll be using to plant this year's potato cropping. There is one extra addition folks, I'll just say that in the bottom I've put a layer of well rotted cow manure and that there is purely to retain moisture. The actual tuber won't be touching that, there'll be a layer of compost on. So with that in the bottom now, all that's left is to start filling. So that's the first one down. Just worth noting here, there's a left a rim around the top and that's for two reasons basically. The first one is I'll be able to water and the water won't just run off. And the second one is I'll be filling this here with straw and that'll have the effect of retaining the moisture 
but also give the homes a little bit of protection should we have any light frost. So that's one down, 23 to go. I'm just having a little break from uh, planting the potatoes. I thought I'd share with you a bit of good news and a nice touch. As you might know if you follow the channel on a regular basis, I've been having a little revamp in the garden, decommissioning the pond and the, and uh, during part of that, I had a little mishap. A stone flew up and hit this glass here. Now it's a four mil toughened glass, six foot by two foot. And uh, like all toughened glass, it just shattered into like a cobweb. That was okay until he touched it, then the whole lot dropped out. Most parts of the country, we've been having low temperatures at night, including frosts. Well, I've got a, quite a lot of tender plants inside here. So I've been online and ordered a new piece of glass from Rhino Greenhouse. They're Greenhouse's direct. And their delivery dates was two weeks plus, which was shock horror for me. The plants was going to suffer. If anybody's looking for a greenhouse or anything at the moment, regardless of where you go, the lead times are most astronomical. So that wasn't nothing special. However, I thought I'd contact their customer services department, explain the situation. Glass gone, tender plants, need to keep the cold out. And give them their credit, they got back to me, they fast-tracked my order, and within two days, the glass had arrived. So I'm just going to put that in there. So a big thank you to Greenhouse Direct, Rhino Greenhouse, if you're watching. It's much appreciated. Thank you. I'm just damping down now. I've had to pop another light on because now the sun's gone down. It has gone quite a bit chilly. But nevertheless, we've had a glorious day weather-wise, and that's allowed me to plant these 24 containers of Charlotte. I've still got another 12 of Sao Palmeira to plant up, but that'll probably be another three weeks or so, maybe. Uh, this place here is not the final place. The, the potatoes are going to be going. They're going to be going in the bed next door. But first of all, I need to move that manure back into the bays. So that's about it for this one. Many thanks for watching. Stay safe all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.